Fight the virus, MCPS. Wash up, mask up, and back up. Why do we need to keep our hands clean? According to the CDC, keeping hands clean is one of the most important steps we can take to avoid getting sick and spreading germs, such as the COVID-19 virus. Regularly washing hands with soap and water not only keeps you healthy, but prevents the spread of illness to others. Germs can spread to other people, objects, and surfaces when you touch your eyes, nose, and mouth, touch a contaminated surface or object, blow your nose, cough, or sneeze into your hands. How do we keep our hands clean? When we wash our hands with soap and water, we physically remove germs and other contaminants. Thorough hand washing is the best practice. When you can't easily have access to soap and water, you can use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer kills germs, but does not remove contaminants like chemicals or dirt. Hand sanitizer should not be used when your hands are visibly dirty, greasy, or sticky, after using the bathroom, before eating, before, during, and after preparing food, after touching garbage, after touching pets, animals, animal feed, or pet food, after handling hazardous chemicals with or without gloves. It is a best practice to use soap and water in these instances. What is the proper way to wash your hands? When washing your hands, you can use any hand soap with clean water. Antibacterial soap is not needed, and any temperature water is fine. Step 1. Wet hands thoroughly with running water. Step 2. Dispense soap into your wet hands. If you are using a bar of soap, do not share that soap with others. Step 3. Lather up the soap by vigorously rubbing your hands together for at least 20 seconds, paying particular attention to the backs of the hands, nails, cuticles, spaces between the fingers, and under jewelry. Make sure you wash your hand above the wrist level to include your thumb area. It is important to wash your hands for 20 seconds to ensure you remove all germs. Step 4. Rinse your hands thoroughly with clean running water. Next, dry your hands using a disposable paper towel. Avoid the use of shared towels. What is the proper way to use hand sanitizer? In order to effectively kill germs, use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer containing at least 60% alcohol. MCPS will have ample supplies available throughout our offices and schools. Step 1. Use enough hand sanitizer to fully cover the entire hand. Step 2. Rub your hands together, making sure you get the back of your hands, nails, spaces between your fingers, and your thumbs. This should take about 20 seconds. Do not wipe or rinse off the hand sanitizer. Allow it to dry on your hands. When do you need to clean your hands? You should clean your hands before and after touching your mask, eyes, nose, or mouth, when entering or leaving a public place like your school or office, and after touching an item or surface that may be frequently touched by others, such as door handles, tables, gas pumps, or shopping carts. In addition to the best practices mentioned earlier in this video, you should also clean your hands before and after caring for someone who is sick before and after treating a cut or wound, after changing diapers or cleaning up a child who has used the toilet, after blowing your nose, coughing, or sneezing. When in doubt, clean your hands. Hand hygiene, safety and health tips. To prevent hand dryness or skin cracking, apply moisturizer several times a day and try washing your hands with cool or warm water instead of hot. Since alcohol-based sanitizer is flammable, keep it away from heat, sparks, and flames. Allow your hands to completely dry after applying hand sanitizer if you are going to work with heat, flames, static electricity, or sparks. And be careful not to spill sanitizer on your clothes or any equipment. Do not place hand sanitizer dispensers closer than 12 inches from combustible materials like paper and cardboard. Do not store more than five gallons of hand sanitizer in one room or closet. Keep hand sanitizer in the manufacturer's containers do not transfer it to unlabeled bottles or other containers. Supervise young children when they use hand sanitizer to make sure they do not swallow it or spill it on the floor, causing people to slip or fall. For your safety and to ensure effectiveness, do not make your own hand sanitizer and never mix different hand sanitizer products together. The goal of all these protocols is to ensure the utmost safety for all staff, students, family, and community members as we reopen schools.